Okay. So I got asked this question, what do I do when things arise uh, in in perception? Um, uh, there's a various number of things I do when um, phenomena arise in, in, in the perception uh, to clear them. Uh, now, things may arise physically. The, the, my story has been a lot of illnesses and things may arise, you know, things related to others and uh, uh, and uh, thing. Now, when I when I shoot this, uh, I just I'll probably start saying this because just to make people aware. I mean, there's different levels of consciousness in which you can perceive the world. Uh, so when I speak, I, I can speak from different levels. So one minute I'll say there is no world and there is nothing and there is no other. Uh, and, and next minute I'll say from a lower level of consciousness where I, I believe my thoughts are real and I'm real and others are real. I'll speak from a, a different, and, I, and I'll, I can speak from many different levels, so you just have to bear with it. But when I'm really identified, um, uh, and that is when things come up for me, is when I'm really identified with the phenomena that, that arise in consciousness, and uh, they're not meaningless, essentially. So when a, when a phenomena is not meaningless, has been rendered neutral, uh, then... Uh, it seems like it can come up and there can be identification with it and a story that arises from, you know, oh, I, you know, there's a me and uh, these thoughts are real and those people are real and this thing happened and all of that. So uh, let's say, I mean, and uh, both physical phenomena and the idea that I'm real and others are real, uh, bring, uh, you know, I'll categorize them into two different phenomena of how I I, I clear them. I sort of see that uh, it's my view. Uh, obviously, if I'm in um, in uh, non-dual states, there is no view. Of course, there are no views or perceptions exist at that state. But if I, in in the view of like illnesses coming up, like pains in the foot, sore throat, infections, blocked noses, I'll speak quickly to that. So um, the, you know, for me, there's different ideas that uh, or limitations depending on the level of consciousness that one is identified with you know there can be strong levels of of identification and various ideas and belief systems are perpetuated at that level and there can be higher levels where different sets of lim limitations and ideas persist so in transcending the levels of consciousness you just transcend the lower levels and, and then you get to the higher levels and then enlightenment there is no levels and there is no world and there is nothing to, more to do and there is nothing so um no at the level of um uh oh there seems to be like a pain in the body or an illness in the body or an infection in the body or something something going the body can't breathe uh you suffer you can't sleep whatever it is th those type of things so Within the within the illusion, the collective separation, uh, there uh, I subscribe to in at that realm, that level, uh, karma, meaning that nothing happens in the world of uh, separation by accident. Um, so meaning that the things that are arising are things that are arising to be cleared uh, and transcended, or deleted, or rendered meaningless until they no longer reappear. And so block that which is infinitely present. So in terms of illnesses, uh, like, for example, uh, I, I, there's an anti-karma prayer, which uh, Hawkins taught me. I, I, I pray for, you know, I see what the thing is that's being done to me. And then I assume that in a past life or oh, this lifetime, I've been inflicting that on others within the collective illusion. So like, for example, I'll give a concrete example, like, um, uh, blocked sinus, sinus infection, not being able to sleep or breathe. So I go, so karmically within the illusion, why is that thing arising for me to clear uh, within the collective? You know, so within the collective separation, it's, it seems to be while I'm in separated state, others seem to do unto me, or there seems to be a, an opportunity for clearing uh, that which arises. The phenomena I sort of see arising within the separation are a hundred percent perfect for transcendence uh, and they mirror the things that are held in consciousness within the ego that need to be cleared in perfect order everything is synchronized so if suddenly like uh, there's a sinus infection can't sleep at night and it feels like i'm being su suffocated to death then i just uh, i just assume that in this lifetime or in a past lifetime both either literally or metaphorically doesn't really matter 
you know, the karma may come up for me to clear uh, either through physical symptoms or it could be, you know, literally someone putting a plastic bag over my head <laughs> and trying to suffocate me. Probably had some barbaric lifetimes of doing some unsavory things in prior lifetimes. And um, so I just, I, I use the anti-karma prayer. I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who has suffocated others in this lifetime and others. I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's deprived uh, uh, and uh, the sleep of others in this lifetime and others. I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's uh, depleted others in this life. You know, it can be various things. So I symbolically hear it through the, oh, the cancer. I just cancel my belief. I've got blocked sinuses. I cancel my belief uh, I can't breathe. I'm an infinite being. The infinite, of course, is beyond duality, beyond separation, beyond a me and a you, and anything of separation or fear uh, existing. All of that has been transcended into the into the light or into non-duality. So, um, so I keep doing that with the purpose of deleting the physical illness. I often see, and so I'll see the metaphoric. I'll do the anti-karma. I'll cancel, or I could go. I could just go to what's observing. Okay, um, the body seems to be this. It's there's a, actually more like a feeling of suffocation and not being able to get oxygen. So that's a story. What's a, what's witnessing? this this feeling and these thoughts is the witness of suffocating uh is that which watches all of this is that subject to uh, suffocating and, and and lack of oxygen uh, as soon as one goes into that that isn't and then quite often the thing will start to disappear uh, you know oh in the in that realm in that uh, infinite space which watches which while it, there's a watcher watches i'm not saying there's another place where there is no watcher watching uh, then then that doesn't suffer all the things that come and go and that are transitory in this world uh, they they just seem to be um uh, not important whatever they are and, and 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 are released almost as they appear like um like a drop of water disappearing into the surface of the, of a pond or something so that's the thing with that um the things the 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 how to clear the idea that i'm a person and there's other person doing things that seem to be um, uh, seem to be not pleasant, you know, giving grievances or fears or or um, uh, whatever it is. So within that uh, context, how do I clear that? Oh my goodness, um, I think somebody doesn't like me and is trying to do things which are restricting me. So how would I, if that uh, perception arises, then I'll clear that. I'll go well, you know. I'll say, well, this is coming up for me to clear because this is still a story that still seems, still seems to exist, that infinite non-dual space. It's, in, it's arising and it's arising perfectly and, and not without uh, and not randomly for me to be the next thing I need to clear and transcend and delete. So, OK, there's a person. Uh, there was something actually earlier today where there seemed to be uh, there seemed to be the story I'm a person and they're a person and they did something that uh, the ego identity didn't like so then it was like okay but uh, luckily there was um, uh, a satsang earlier and it was quite you know it was almost like uh, you know being able to witness two different levels of experiencing there was the idea when you when doing the witnesser of yeah there's the story over there there's a me that was affected by another and then there is that which watches it and which there there is nothing to forgive nothing to forgive i mean there wasn't a me that got offended and there wasn't another person those things don't really exist and that was seen clearly to coming out of uh, satsang so it was seen then you know well if there is no me and there is no other and there is nothing to forgive well, what why are you trying to hold on to this thing just let it go you know do, do, do you want to su suffer this uh, this stuff down there so there, so whatever it is, how do I clear things? Uh, I can clear things through the anti karma, through cancellation of beliefs. Uh, I could use uh, various types of, you know, I surrender to God, the idea that someone did something I didn't like into God's infinite light and love, or I, or I, I surrender it and pray for forgiveness, transcendence, and miracles, and keep doing that until until the phenomena disappear and, and don't exist. Uh, because uh, why why for me well, the intention is enlightenment the intention is to transcend separation and uh and then the the perception of uh, of, of uh, duality okay so that's uh answering that I'll quickly stop